So today we're looking at the DJI Mavic Air 2. Now, I'll be honest, this is my main sort of flying drone, but I'll be honest, at the moment I am flying the Mini 3 Pro a lot more now. But anyway, I did notice about over a week ago there was a new update for the Mavic Air 2. And what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just doing the updates, and it's always worth checking, guys, especially your fly app. And I noticed on my iPad, I haven't updated it yet. So I'm going to do the update for the iPad. Um, and what I'll do, I will speed up matters because it's, it's probably going to take three or four minutes to load up the app. And then I'll turn on the drone. And we'll see if the update is correct. Because I'll be honest, I haven't updated this drone for, must be a good over a year or so now. So it's um, always good to keep up to date, guys, because obviously every now and again there are bugs, and especially with the Fly app now, you've got numerous drones on it. You've got the FPV drone, you've got the new Mavic Pro 3 on there, and obviously the Mini 3 Pro and the Mavic uh, Mini 2. So there's quite a lot coming off this app itself. And I'm surprised, really, that they didn't do a new app, really, for the Mini 3, but, you know, they haven't, so no doubt. There's probably a new drone coming before Christmas, so, as they always say, watch this space. Okay, so the app's ready now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the, open the app up. Just turn that around. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect up the drone now with the app so I've got the controller here I'm just going to connect the controller in it says firmware available but I'm going to turn on the drone next so what I'm going to do first I'm just going to go by what it says on the screen here I'll download that first so it's installing the firmware I did notice when I was flying it the other day something did come up on the screen uh, looked like there was some sort of problem there Okay, firmware is installed. Right, so you go up to the right hand corner on the three dots, go over to about, uh, check for updates. Let's check in. Firmware available update. So do that. Okay, so it says um, do not close the app and make sure that connected devices are 20 second range batteries. So we update. So, firmware all installed. So, officially, um, it's all ready to go. Go to fly. What we'll do, we'll just check uh, that it's all been updated properly. Just press go to fly. We'll go to the three dots in the corner there. About. All right, so we got, should be at the bottom there. So the app version is 1.64 and the firmware update, the RC, okay, RC as well. So that's the RC firmware update. Always write it down, firmware update. That's what that one is and obviously the aircraft I'll just do it I'll just do it again because we obviously just done that one but we'll just check it anyway just checking the version yeah so we're just going to go through some of the settings just to make sure so the obstacle avoidance is on break good all my settings there return to home 
and they're all looking as as they should be control yep follow me mode don't want to be in fpv i'll do it in imperial that's good everything's there as right camera yep jpeg rule so everything's looking good so i'm all prepared to go out for flying again now sorry guys it's not an interesting video but to be honest these are quite important things to do make sure your drones are all up to date with the latest software uh anyway as always very much for watching uh fly safe and i'll catch you on the next one